Hey guys, now Dior launched new eyeshadow palettes and I've never tried Dior eyeshadows before so I was very interested. So I picked up, picked them up. So this is the box that it comes in. Um, this just says Dior at the bottom and it says five colors. That's a pretty simple name but I'm not sure if this eyeshadow palette is called five colors or at the bottom it says here high fidelity colors and effects uh, eyeshadow palette. But the product page says just five colors so i think it's called five colors but i'm not entirely sure because there is like a pretty long name here distinctly so anyways so these are expensive these retail for 62 dollars and as the name suggests there are five eyeshadows in each palette there are six eyeshadow palettes in total three are, and they come in two different finishes three of them are matte eyeshadows that is an all matte palette then the other finish is satin finish so all five all of them are supposed to be satin shades so i picked two of them because these are very expensive um picked out of uh two out of the six and um one is matte this is the matte which is like a neutral matte and then this one is like let me just show it to you instead of just showing you the package this is a colorful one this is uh falls under the satin finish and then the matte one was a completely neutral palette so that is and this is called embrace now uh, the amount of product that you get here is uh, it says right here seven grams and that is 0.24 ounce of product so if you break it down um, to each uh, down to each pan which it comes up to 0.04 ounce of product in each pan per pan which is not excessive and at the same time it's not very less it's 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 a good amount so and these are made in France yeah these are made in France so that's a box and then since this is like a luxury brand the eyeshadow palettes they come in like a, a velvet pouch and yeah and then when you open this this is like a plastic um, packaging and it does say Dior in it you're in it and at the back it says it it has like the uh, small picture or the depiction of what the inside of the palette might look like and it just says uh, the amount of product that you might get here and just these are made in France and it, these palettes are non-magnetic it does come with a small press in button where you can open it and it also came with two brushes now these are a joke guys really I'm I'm very very I'm unhappy with these truly now this is the first brush is like uh, let me just hold it to you like this so that you can see the shape so both are sponge kind of uh, uh, applicators I wouldn't even call these brushes and uh, this is one end this is like an angled brush and the other end is like a sponge kind of an applicator so yeah and let me just uh, let's just uh, start with the swatches and yeah let's let's begin the actual review now um let's swatch this now none of these shades have names so it's just the name of the palette this is called electrify 357 electrify let's swatch this and this is the satin finish the the entire palette uh, is a satin finish and that is true it doesn't have uh, it's not a flat matte finish, but at the same time it doesn't have any glitter or it doesn't like catch the light or anything So that is like an indigo color This is like a navy blue and then you have like a coral shade Which is You know, it doesn't look exactly coral on my skin tone, but Yeah, that's a coral shade and then this is a mint green In the Center you have mint green and then you and then this last one it's this particular shade this white shade it is truly white it's like a pearl white shade that is nowhere close to a satin shade guys that is a pretty high shine uh, finish I'm not sure if, you can, if it picks up in the camera but this is a very very high shine uh, eyeshadow and this eyeshadow is actually kind of flaky but um, that's because it, it is like very high shine and it has like pretty like chunks of glitter. It's, it's not like too uh, loose, but it does adhere well. So um, 
le let me just break it down in in terms of performance and and uh and then the product performance of this particular palette of of electrify anyways these two blue shadows let me just show it to you to you in the uh, palette these two blue shadows that is these two are actually very very good very pigmented i did not have to build them up at all and they actually uh performed well both in terms of layering uh, not layering uh, ap applying them on the eyelid like using a shader brush and also in terms of using a uh, blending brush to blend use them in the crease so i've used this entire palette in my on, on my eyes on both eyes i didn't do like a two-tone look so i've used this deep blue in the outer corner and in the crease and in the center i've used this particular blue shade this lighter blue this indigo blue and then in the inner corner, I've used this, you know, this pearl white shade. And in the inner part of the crease over here, this particular area, I've used the mint green. Now, I have to say, um, besides these two, all three, this uh, coral shade, this mint green and this pearl white, all of them are actually sheer. Now, I, I observed something very odd with the coral and the mint green. Now, the thing is, when you're trying to uh, apply them on the eyelid using a shader brush, they are very, very sheer. No matter how many times you try to build it, at least on my skin tone, it does not pop. You just can't see the coral shade at all. I can still see my, my, the, the, the skin of my eyelid peeking through. So, no matter how many times you build, at least on deeper skin tone, this is my, my observation on, on my skin tone, on dark skin tone, no matter how many times you build it, it's not going to appear as you see it on in the pans. It's not going to happen. But these two shades are very, very good. But the uh, the mint and the coral, no matter how many times you build them up on the eyelid using a shader brush, they don't just, they just look sheer. Now, but when I try to use the mint green in the crease, like not in the entire crease because it, it, it usually looks kind of ashy. But if I, I, I tried using it over here, like something to blend with the inner corner, so something to, to, to like lift the eye look and to brighten the eye look. When I used it with a blender brush, it actually did very, very well. It blended beautifully. I did not have any problem and I tried to use both the shades, both the coral and the mint green. Uh, did really well when I used the blender brush and when I tried to blend it. So my conclusion with these two shades are... The quality is really good but uh, they are sheer so um, if you try to use them on the eyelids with a flat shader brush they just don't perform well but they do well when you try to blend it in like an um, in like a, in areas where you have a curvature in, in in your eyes you know like when I try to use a blender brush they did well that's all I'm trying to say but when I try to uh, pack them up on the eyelid as you using like a flat shader brush they were I, I'm going to say hopeless hopeless is the right word for these two when you're trying to build them up they just don't build up at all and this final shade this pearl pearl shade I really actually very much like it because the first time I swatched it I was like this is a disaster and also when I first uh, the first time I tried to pack it on with a shader brush on the eyelid there was literally nothing but the second time I built it up, the second layer, it actually packed a punch, guys. It, it, it actually built up really, really well. And you can actually make your eyelids look very much like as you see in the pan. You can get this effect on the eyelids when you like go with two to three layers. Anywhere between two to three layers, you can get this very sparkly effect on the eyelids. It builds up really, really well. So I would say these two, uh, the mint green and the... Um, Coral are like um, below average. I'm going to say below average because eyeshadow should perform wherever you apply it. So they just don't perform on the eyelids and uh, as an actual like a uh, normal eyeshadow. And these three are really good. I like them very much. This is intended to be sheer because like maybe you can use it like a top coat or just if you want to use it as an uh, eyeshadow by itself, you definitely need to build it up, but it, it builds up very, very beautifully and easily. You just don't have to work a lot with that. These three eyeshadows are really, really nice. So yeah, that's this palette.
let's move on to the neutral palette as uh, as i said before the same packaging and at the back you can see a tiny layout of of what the inside of the palette would look like and again you open this up and it just again it came with like a two brushes just the same and you have five eyeshadows all of them are neutral and all of them are matte and let me let me just start with swatching now um you just can't see it because it it is a brown shade with a very slight orange tone to it like a burnt orange tone to it but this eyeshadow i'm going to say it out right away this eyeshadow palette is really 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 good very very good i really like it i was very impressed with the quality of these eyeshadows they are very smooth to touch and very very buttery and at the same time they perform really really well i hope you can see L let me just build this shade up you can see no matter i don't think no matter how much i build it up i don't think you can actually see because the brown tones in it just blend with my skin tone so that's the this is like a cool toned almost black brown kind of a shade the one in the corner and then you have like a beautiful orange peachy shade very very pretty and that did not look ashy on my my skin tone at all it, it looked really good and then you have like a cream shade which is also pigmented there you go the cream shade and then the center shade is like a beige shade beige now I'm very this is like an A plus palette guys this this particular palette right here all of the shades perform really really well and believe it or not I have well I'm not saying believe it or not if I have hyperpigmentation I have hyperpigmentation in the, on my eyelids but none of these shades even the lighter shades even the beige and the white and this um, pale uh, like orange shade none of these the lighter shades needed to be built up at all it was really 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 good the quality is very very good i was actually shocked i really expected that i had i would have to build these three shades up but i did not have to at all it just one coat it just completely covered the the hyperpigmentation and just completely covered the eyelids in just one coat you do not have to build them up at all and and they blend really really well i really like this this eyeshadow palette is so so good and whether it's worth 62 dollars i don't think so guys because i know the the eyeshadow quality is a plus i just said that but um these are pretty basic colors well this color this this orange shade this very pale orange shade i don't think that's a basic color but you can definitely if you try and find uh I can't be sure because I haven't research, researched where this particular shade might be but definitely Makeup Geek or MAC might have this shade and I think this is the only unique shade that I saw besides this shade all this all this beige this off-white this this uh, like reddish brown shade and then this uh, cool uh, brown shade you can definitely find these uh, colors everywhere and yeah so for that reason do you really need to spend 62 dollars on this a plus palette unless if you really want to and you have uh, funds at your disposal to spend um 62 dollars on a five uh, pan eyeshadow palette i don't know it's it's something it's the decision that you have to make but quality wise an unbiased objective a review on this palette it's an a plus it's really really good but this palette the colorful one to my disappointment i was really looking forward to this one but uh, to my disappointment this did not perform well and certainly not worth the money 62 dollars for only three you just only have five shades here and out of which two are not good and you have only three for 60 dollars please do not buy this palette if you're spending 62 dollars it has to be an a plus product which you really really love and and something that you will have to use every day and yeah so that's that's my review guys and uh, i haven't told you where i bought mine at sephora but i think these uh, don't say that these are i don't think these are exclusive to sephora 
let me just quickly double check that these just these don't say exclusive it just says new on sephora's product page uh so yeah i think you can find this anywhere dior is available bloomingdale's uh, Nordstrom does Nordstrom have Dior? I'm not sure, but Bloomingdale is the Bloomingdale definitely has, and and Sephora is easy, and I think the return policy on usually department stores all are also very good, so I guess you can just buy it wherever you want to. So yeah, I think we've touched on everything. Price sixty two dollars, and availability it's pretty much widely available. And performance wise the neutral one is really really good but the let me just hold it up for one last time before I conclude the neutral one is an A plus quality but these are very w widely available shades except for the I haven't seen this pale orange shade much but uh, I think definitely Colourpop or mm, uh, Makeup Geek or MAC I'm definitely sure MAC would, would have this shade because they have so many eyeshadows and this one is a very very mediocre palette and you do not need to spend $62 on this and another thing I, I feel about this palette is it doesn't like create a distinct difference on my uh, on my skin tone at least I, 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 I can't speak for people with lighter skin tone but do you see I've used this this uh, pearl shade in the inner corner which is slightly lightens and brightens the eye look and then I've used this blue in the center of the lid as I said earlier and then the deeper blue in the outer corner but it all looks like one shadow it it doesn't create like a distinct difference and that's kind of let down for me because on my skin tone things need to like really be of good quality to make it pop on my skin tone and uh, I, I'm not talking about quality because I don't know much about ingredients. Maybe a good quality, but it just does not show up on my skin tone. And I don't know, I'm not very impressed with the colorful Electrify one. But the, the um, Embrace is really, really good. So yeah, that's it, you guys. We've come to the end of this review. And I hope you found the swatches and my thoughts and uh, review on these palettes useful. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked watching it and please subscribe. Bye.